Hello, welcome to watch the CD Genomics's video about metagenomics. Let's begin with what metagenomics is. Metagenomics, also known as environmental and community genomics, is the genomic analysis of microbes by direct extraction and cloning of DNA from a microbial community. Metagenomics provides a culture-independent insight of microbial communities. It has emerged as a powerful centerpiece, since most microorganisms cannot grow in a pure culture, and that culturing cannot capture the full spectrum of microbial diversity. The obtained community taxonomic profile can provide massive amounts of information on genomic assembly, gene prediction, species diversity. Comparative metagenomics can provide additional insight into the function of complex microbial communities, and their role in host health. Therefore, metagenomics has the potential to advance knowledge and solve practical challenges in a wide spectrum of fields, such as infectious medicine, engineering, agriculture, sustainability, and ecology. Metagenomics approaches are roughly classified into two groups, whole metagenomics and targeted metagenomics. Although whole metagenomic analyzes revealed that microbial communities are well adapted to their geochemical conditions, they can't provide definitive evidence for the positive selection of enzymes for key ecological processes under environmental pressures, likely due to insufficient sequence data for the target enzyme group. Targeted metagenomics is a suitable tool for constructing gene collections of specific groups of enzymes which are useful for studying their adaptive evolution. Whole Genome Shotgun Sequencing WGS, has been increasingly recognized as the most comprehensive and robust approach for metagenomics. It offers the advantages of identification of species-level taxonomy, and the estimation of metabolic pathway activities from human and environmental samples. Several large-scale metagenomic projects have been recently conducted, or are currently underway utilizing WGS. With the generation of vast amounts of data, the bioinformatics and computational analysis of WGS results become vital for the success of a metagenomics study. However, WGS has several limitations. First, each step in the WGS data analysis, including metagenome assembly, gene prediction, taxonomy identification, function annotation, and pathway analysis, is complicated by the sheer amount of data. But algorithms and tools have been developed specifically to handle WGS-generated metagenomics data, with the hope of reducing the requirement on computational time and storage space. Second, one of the biggest considerations, for library preparation of environmental samples for shotgun metagenomic sequencing, has to do with amplification. Certain types of samples, such as water and swabs, yield small amounts of DNA, necessitating amplification during library preparation. Amplification by PCR can overamplify certain fragments over others. If you're able to extract enough DNA material, about 250 to 500 nanogram, an amplification-free based library preparation method is recommended. Targeted metagenomic analysis involves isolating DNA from an environmental sample, cloning the DNA into a suitable vector, transforming the clones into a host bacterium, and screening the resulting transformants. The clones can be screened for phylogenetic markers, such as 16S ribosomal RNA, or for other conserved genes by hybridization or multiplex PCR, or for expression of specific traits, such as enzyme activity or antibiotic production. High numbers of novel biocatalysts have been identified, by function-based or sequence-based screening of metagenomic libraries derived from various environments. The sequence-based approach has been used extensively to retrieve specific genes, from a pool of DNA. Instead of cloning all the extracted DNA, primers are designed specifically against an identified target gene. The advantage of using sequence-driven screening is that, it uses well-established and high-throughput techniques, such as PCR and hybridization, and can be used for different targets. For example, the 16S ribosomal RNA gene is a taxonomic genomic marker that is common to almost all bacteria and archaea. The portrait of the microbial world was revolutionized by analysis of 16S ribosomal RNA genes. Nevertheless, when it comes to fungi, there is a different scenario. Instead of 16S, 18S is commonly used in fungi for phylogenetics, since it has more hypervariable domains than 16S. In addition to this, the internal transcribed spacer region, also known as ITS, removed in the post-transcriptional process of nuclear renichistrin, 
has been widely regarded as a universal fungi barcode marker, for a successful identification for the broadest range of fungi. And compared to 18S, ITS is more variable, and hence more suitable as the genetic marker, for measuring intraspecific genetic diversity. Functional metagenomics studies the functions of encoded proteins. Functional metagenomics involves isolating DNA from microbial communities, cloning DNA fragments, expressing genes in a surrogate host, screening for enzymatic activities, sequencing, and functional analysis. When it comes to the construction of a metagenomic library, Cosmid or Phosmid based libraries are often preferred, due to their large and consistent insert size and high cloning efficiency. DNA is first extracted from the environmental sample of interest, then size selected and repaired, and ligated to a cost-based vector, allowing packaging by lambdaphage for subsequent transduction of Escherichia coli. The resulting library contains relatively large insert DNA, typically 25 to 40 kb for CAS-based vectors. Functional analysis has identified novel antibiotics and antibiotic resistance genes. Thanks for your attention. For more information, Please visit our website www.cd-genomic.com. We also provide comprehensive metagenomics services to meet your specific need. We are more than happy to be assistance.